dropped and you hear Utent, what's that? Oh, what do I need now? And, and there'll be something else and something attestado. And that's the thing, isn't it? And, and what came to mind there, Heather, is the difference between a Muesli and an Airfix model or an IKEA uh, plan. There is the, the Muesli, which is every single thing you're going to need to move to Portugal all in one packet. And that's there's that's nuts, raisins, you know, bits of granola, and it's all there in one bag. And it's like, how do you sort this out? And then you get an Airfix model or IKEA instructions, and it's like it starts at picture number one. What's the first thing you need? Right. Then you stick that to the second bit, and you stick that to the third bit, and you bring, you bring bits one, two, and three together with four, five, and six, and you need a sequence, don't you? And you need space. You need to separate the muesli and see which, which bits you need. You need all the bits, but you need to get space between the bits, and you need to get time or a timeline for those bits as well. Absolutely. We actually provide that for free. We're going to be doing uh, uh, the monthly webinar we do. We're going to do the first half hour. It's going to be open to anybody. And it's going to be a presentation, um, which is for good for DIY people and good for people that just want to, you know, learn a little bit or get the overview, regardless of if they're DIY or not. Very and good. and it, it helps break that down a bit. But oh. I, I feel like it's it's very, very overwhelming to mm -hmm. throw a whole bag of everything at people at once. Music. And that's, you know, but I do show people like a timeline, yeah. but at the same time I trigger them, you know, we trigger them as we need things as we're going through the process. So it's not just here's 40 things at once, ideally. Well, humans can't cope. I mean, that is a recipe for stress. Let's face it. We, so, we, we, we can only much. manage a certain amount of plates spinning at any given time. Right. Uh, on this matter of stress then, Bon dia all. I'm starting to feel a bit of worry about the big move, as Jackie said earlier on, but it will be worth it once there. And from another angle, um, this is lovely, um, Gary. Well, not lovely for you, but it's a very interesting way of looking at it. Um, it's the stress, uh, Bon dia, I hope you're all well. It's the stress of not being able to move to Portugal. I hadn't thought about it from that angle. So there's, there, are, there are possible potential stresses involved in the process and being here. And then the, there's the other one. And I've, and I've you know, I've... I've, I've uh, communicated with a few people in this sort of condition, but we're getting worried that they're never going to make it um, in some way. So by way of a little bit of encouragement and to keep your pilot light lit when it comes to Portugal, uh, from Joao de Nort this morning down in the south, look at that, some cherry blossoms oh, nice. that you nice. can look forward to seeing uh, in the south. He's in the Algarve at the moment. And in the central at, uh, today from Michael, thank you very much. What a beautiful scene for in Miranda de Corvo. Look at that. Um, that was the nice. full moon. When was that, Michael? Let me just have a look. Yeah. Um, the full moon over Miranda de Corvo this morning. Um, nice. so, isn't that beautiful? Out and about yeah. presumably, and catching the full moon before it uh, goes to a sliver um, again. Thank you, uh, Joao de Nort and to Michael for that. Let's go back to more comments in the chat about moving to Portugal and the many aspects of doing so, most of which uh, Heather has uh, dealt with in some way, either personally or with clients. Um, and has made all the mistakes, as you said on Tuesday, because you, 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 there weren't people around to help you, were there, in a way that you help other people? You've made most mistakes it's possible to make, it would seem. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was definitely my own guinea pig in a lot of ways. I yeah. did hire a professional to help me uh, process how to submit and, and so forth because I had a complicated situation. And I, uh, I realized that I was smart enough to uh hire someone to help me muddle through all the things and it's really the truth my clients are like the most capable highly intelligent amazing freaking people like seriously i've had like four or five attorney clients now um like you know just people that can do this okay but uh but they're smart enough to know that there's a time and place and i i, I think that those are key points and um, at the same time, hiring someone also helped me realize the shortcomings of hiring someone because they simply focused on just the submission paperwork. And that was it. I didn't learn anything about phones. I didn't learn that my Google voice was going to stop after six months. I didn't learn how to set up contracts or get things negotiated right. And I did some of that myself, which I did make some mistakes. Um, I didn't, you know... I didn't know that solar here means something really different than what it means to us in the United States. And it's a joke, um, the way that it's sold here. If anybody wants to buy three solar panels, let me know because <laughs> they're worthless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Rude>. <laughs> 
Actually, well, yeah. they're not worthless unless you buy the battery. Uh, I, know, I, I have to make a note of that. I know somebody who I might be able to connect you with. Pardon the pun. Uh, 